Hey everyone, I want to show you a little bit something called the Stanley Parable. Uh, it's This is just the demo. The actual game comes out on Thursday, I think it is. And I'll be doing that then. But I just want to show you the demo. I actually highly recommend you don't watch this and you just play the demo yourself. Uh, but in case you're lazy, I'm, I'm going to do it anyways. Uh, I did actually play this at PAX, so I'll tell you a bit of the changes that I do notice uh, within the demo. And I think it's I think it's a really cool game. I think it's, uh, uh, I don't know if you could call it a game, but it's really interesting. Uh, what is it, you ask? Well, uh, let me begin the demo and I'll show you. Now, as of this moment, it's just kind of just on this still frame. And it's it's kind of a it's kind of a funny trick. I really like this. So you can go press the skip and you can go oh, begin the demo again, resume it, whatever. Uh, <laughs> you're just staring at a at a poster. It's it's a game with a really witty sense of humor, and I and I like it a lot. It's 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 fantastic. Uh, still don't know what the actual pr practical purpose of the game is, but. Welcome to the Stanley Parable Demonstration. Your number is 28. When your number is displayed, please enter the demonstration room. Thank you, and have a pleasant demonstration. I'll just look at all this stuff because it's very interesting to look at. FYI, I, I don't actually think uh, waiting for the number does anything. I've actually played enough runs of this game where I've uh, I've waited once and just went right on ahead another time. Hey look, it's a Ducks magazine. Everything's okay. Kind of just like looking at this stuff. Indoors magazine. Alright, we'll continue. So you don't have to wait for it, as far as I know. So this is uh, Famous Demos. Some some of these games you may recognize, or all of them, you know. Oh, hello, hello, hello! Welcome to the Stanley Parable live demonstration. It will be my pleasure to guide you through this sneak peek at what to expect in the Stanley Parable. A tease, just enough to leave you hungry for more. How exciting! Can't you just feel that nervous tension? The looming uncertainty? Why don't we drink in the anticipation for a moment, just for 20 minutes or so? Please, for just 20 minutes, don't move or act in any way. Simply remain motionless and let the thrill of demoing the Stanley Parable wash over you. Oh, I get it. You're too anxious. You can barely hold still. Well, tell you what. I think we should walk off that nervous energy before getting the demo underway. Here, why don't I take you on a little tour of the facility and show you how we make a demonstration for a game like the Stanley Parable. This is where I and the other proctors have been working meticulously to construct a demo that explains clearly and concisely exactly what the Stanley Parable is, how it plays, and why you should spend real-world money on the main game. Video game demonstrations are tricky, and without the proper technology, you run the risk of the player having no idea what to expect in the full version. Ah, here is one such technology. These buttons are meant to convey the meaning of choice and the impact of the decisions you make. After all, choices carry tremendous meaning and consequence. Didn't you know that? Go ahead. Why don't you try picking one of these buttons to press, and we'll see what your choice says about you. How fascinating. Did you know that 94% of all people who select that particular button are sexual predators? You see, our choices really do illuminate the very intangible nature of our minds and souls. Pervert. <laughs> they all do the same thing, by the way. Okay, what else can I show you then? This place is the buffalo of game design. Nothing is wasted. This device tells you whether or not you're inside a video game demonstration. Somewhere around here there's also a device that tells you whether or not you're inside a device that tells you whether or not you're inside a video game demonstration. Nothing in this room will kill you. 
compliments. One of the most important parts of administering any demonstration is pumping up your ego and appealing to insecurities about your sense of self-worth. That's why we use this room to develop cheap compliments to shower on the player during the demo. Go ahead and press that button to see some of the superficial flattery we've been cooking up. My heavens, I've never met someone who can consume as much uranium in a single sitting as you can. Just look at you go. Of all the people I know who are playing this exact demo at this exact moment and standing in this exact room, your performance is easily in the top 5,000. Top 4,700 even. I won't go as far as 4,600. Hmm, uh, let's see. Oh, this is embarrassing. I really can't think of anything else to say. Uh, no, no, you've really exhausted my list of compliments. Goodness. That was fast. Either you or this department has a lot of room for improvement. Okay then, what's next? As you can tell, this is very uh, heavy on their comment on the game's uh, dialogue. It's centered completely around that. Not really upon anything I can say. This is the isolation chamber. I can't go into this door. Emotion boost. Now here's what we use to convey story. These booths convert text from a story into raw emotion. Go ahead, step into one of them and feel the sheer power of narrative exposition. Where did these cliffs go? These crags that we stood upon, they shielded us from our own ignorance, spoke coddling words and wrapped our vulnerabilities in a woolen cloth that so many times I tried to set aflame. If I knew these comforts now, would their fibers be any more sensitive to the heat of my touch? Discovery. It was though and within the shame he carried that ocean breeze did drift. The fierceness of the tides, the inevitable collapse of their kingdoms, washed ashore, bereft of shame, martyrs devoid. This is like courage, happiness. Now, now, we have to save at least a few emotions for the full game. Ooh, I've actually never been back here. Secret. Okay, I had no idea that existed until, the, <laughs> until I did this uh, uh, recording. That's awesome. It was like uh, fear... Uh, confusion and embarrassment. Oh, you went in both booths? Oh, how vulnerable of you. If at any point during the demo you need to cry, just let me know and we can take a minute. Here is where there is nothing. In the main game, however, there are many more places where there is nothing. If you've enjoyed this experience of a finite amount of content, then the Stanley Parable may be just the game for you. Now, I think you'll find this exciting. We've actually developed a wall that you can walk through. Go ahead, give it a shot. Oh, hmm, guess it's still in development. Right, okay, moving along. For, for some reason, I thought I would no clip through that wall when I first walked through that. How's the anticipation? Still feeling it? Ah, now this room is perhaps the most important you'll encounter in the demo. This is where we determine whether or not the demo has been effective, whether it's conveyed the wit and soul of the Stanley Parable in such a compelling way that you reach immediately for your credit card to purchase the main game. Oh, I must say I'm so excited to hear your response. I really do think we've crafted something special here, and I look forward to hearing whether or not you agree. No! What are you doing? You can't make that decision yet. You haven't played the demo. We've put so much work into this demonstration. Wouldn't it be a shame if you rushed right into making a purchasing decision without savoring it first? Let this one... And there you have it. Everything you need to know about how video game demos are made. However, it's still important that we address safety concerns. Please closely observe the following possible negative side effects of playing the Stanley Parable. 
if you agree to be held 100% responsible for any and all injury or long-term damage, mental, physical or otherwise, that may occur while playing the demo, please do not press the large red glowing disagree button at this time. Nothing? No objections? You're quite sure about that? Oh, well, all right then. In the event that you do experience one or all of the previously listed symptoms, let's establish a signal for you to convey to me that you wish the demonstration to be terminated. Please step into the dance perimeter. Please perform a dance. Your dance has been recorded. In the event that you feel confused or disoriented by anything you see inside the demo, perform that dance and I will terminate the demo immediately. Right, all preparations have been made. It is time at last. Are you prepared for the Stanley Parable? Oh wait, what, what are we doing Welcome here? Welcome to Did the we Stanley not... Parable demonstration. Your number is 29. When your number is displayed, please enter the demonstration room. Thank you, and have a pleasant demonstration. Okay, uh, I'm lost. Let's just get back to the green room and start the demo again. I must have done something wrong the first time. Okay, here we go, the Stanley Parable Demo Take Two. Finding the demo, learning exactly what the Stanley Parable is, here it comes. Oh wait, what's this? At PAX, this is a giant joke about Octo uh, the Octodad, uh, but now it's uh, this thing. Eight. Eight. Wait, 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 wait. It's This is all wrong. This isn't eight. the Stanley Parable. This is a game where you press a button and it says eight. Not only is the Stanley Parable not a game about continuously pressing the number eight, I can guarantee that this button does not appear anywhere in the main game. Eight. Why is it here instead of the demo for the Stanley Parable? Where did the demo go? There was an actual demo here before. Something has gone wrong. It's all gone horribly wrong. We need to get you out of here before you start forming impressions of the Stanley Parable based on whatever the hell this eight game is. Eight. We need to get out. We need to start over. Eight. You mustn't stay here eight. another minute. Out, eight. out, out. Go, go, eight. go. Eight. 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 Now, I think perhaps you've misunderstood me, so let me reiterate as clearly as I can. This is not the Stanley Parable. What you are eight. doing is pushing a button over and over that eight. does nothing but speak the word eight. eight. Has that gotten through? Eight. You may be continuing to press eight. this button under the impression eight. you're playing the Stanley eight. Parable right now. An assumption that is, I should remind you again, entirely erroneous. Eight. I would play. I, I would pay at least eight dollars for this. Eight. Eight. Doesn't even make sense. Why would I have gone to all of this elaborate setup just to demonstrate a game that doesn't do a single thing except repeat the word eight? The waiting room, the green room, eight. the tour of the facility, all of that for no reason other than to contextualize and build up this particular game. Why? What about this game deserves any of that time and attention? Are you seeing something in it that I'm not? Eight. 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 Uh, eight. Is he done? Eight. Okay, here's the deal. It isn't possible that you still think this is the Stanley Parable. I've restated the fact too many times, which means that you are now consciously choosing to delay the actual demo as long as possible. Is that it? Are you afraid of the Stanley Parable? I suppose another possibility is that you can't hear me because you're playing with the sound off. In which case, what are you even getting out of this egg game in the first place? This scenario is perhaps even more concerning. Eight. 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 You really are finding this amusing, aren't you? The experience of pushing a button and it says eight. Is this intrinsically captivating to you on its own as a legitimate experience? I mean, I'm starting to wrap my head around the idea, but it's not all the way there. How do you get into this demo? Are you our target market for the game? Should I be concerned for the Stanley Parable sales numbers right now? 
Eight. <laughs> I now have to stay. Eight. 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 The funny thing is, you haven't even played the Stanley Parable yet. How can you be sure that this is a better game? Is this simply more compelling than you imagine the Stanley Parable to be? Have you Eight. formed such a rich vision of the game already? What exactly did I do that gave you such a miserable, awful impression of what it's like to play the Stanley Parable? Was it the dance? Yes, it was almost certainly the dance. Hmm, I regret that now. Eight. Eight. I like the eight game. Eight. Eight. Well, the good part is that if this is your metric for quality in a game, when we do get to the Stanley Parable, you'll be thrilled, shocked, blown away. Every one of your faculties will be enraptured by the experience of a game that does anything more than say eight over and over. Yes, I can't wait for your entire world to be shattered and rebuilt. A magical moment we'll all share together. Eight. 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 Oh, I'm not going to pretend I don't know what's going on here. You're so utterly compelled by this game that you don't intend to stop playing it until you pass out from physical exhaustion. Well, tell you what, I'll just be right here and wait for you to finish. I'm sure the Stanley Parable demo will still be out there somewhere when you're all done. In the meantime, I'm going to stop acknowledging you and just let you get it out of your system. Please, enjoy the eight game. Take as much time as you need. Eight. Eight. Do they really eight. record that much dialogue? That's eight. crazy. They have my respect. Eight. Eight. Okay. Eight. I think, I think that's it. He's not going to say anything else. Oh, you're done. Well, in that case, what do you say we get back to business and start this demo over from the top? I want to play the eight game again. Welcome to the yes, Stanley yes, Parable yes, demonstration. Yes, all the first time. Okay, now let's take a minute to get something straight here. When you sit down to play this demo, you are assuming an amount of responsibility for its outcome. Now, I can't say for certain whether you caused us to encounter the eight game rather than the Stanley Parable, but I think it's a pretty safe assumption that you had something to do with it. At this time, please take a minute to think about all of the mistakes you've made in playing this demonstration, as well as your lack of respect for demo taking in general. Wonderful. I could really feel the introspection on my end. Now that we're all on the same page again, I feel ready to attempt the demonstration once more. In this third attempt, we shall truly come to understand the meaning of the Stanley Parable. Let the demonstration begin. At PAX, that same segment was uh, basically almost the same, except you had to apologize to the people around you for your lack of respect for the demo. It's good shit. What? No, 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 it can't be over yet. You didn't see anything. Everything that was supposed to demonstrate why the Stanley Parable is a quality experience worth your time and money. It was here somewhere, I'm sure of it. Oh, no, 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 no. We have to get out of here. We have to find something for you to do, anything. The demo cannot end like this. Ah, uh, hurry! Hurry! This way! Okay, yes. This is new. This is different. Surely there must be a game somewhere in here. Okay, okay. Oh, how about this cup? Yes, go pick up the cup. All right? Now put it, um, um, in the bin. Doing a Half-Life 2 vibe here. You did it! You won! You know what you get for winning? An achievement. Wow, the Stanley Parable just keeps getting better and better. In fact, let me take a little survey of your experience. Based on what you played so far, would you purchase the Stanley Parable? You responded, 
What a clear and straightforward demonstration of the merits of the Stanley Parable. I am convinced of the quality of the full game. Incredible. You really do get it. You understand. Oh, I was so worried. I just wanted you to know what I see in the Stanley Parable. What I think makes it, well, special. It's so very difficult to put into words. Oh, we're all beyond that now, aren't we? <laughs> Come along. Let's get to the end and the final choice. Ending, ending, where are you? Where are you? Is this it? Uh... Yes, the end. Now, this is where we want the demo to be over. And I think it's time for you to log your final decision as to whether or not the Stanley Parable is any good. And it all comes to this. Please consider very carefully before answering. Much is at stake. Is it working? I... Are you sure? You sure you pressed the button? What? No, we, we finished the demo. Did it start again? Hello? Is anyone there? They already finished. They said they liked it. I need someone to stop the demo. Hello? We need to go back. We need to get out of here. Oh no, what's going on? Where is everyone? Okay, over to the left, down this way. Oh, nice and quiet, finally. Well, I suppose we can both agree that I failed, haven't I? My job was to be a teacher, and I so badly wanted to teach you exactly what the Stanley Parable is supposed to be, but but somehow I couldn't. I, uh, well, at any rate, I don't know if I care for the Stanley Parable any more. Do you think any of this is actually in the main game? Honestly, I doubt it. What would that even look like? No, I think I've had enough of it. No more doors, no more demonstrations, no more endings. That's the other problem with this game, there's too many bloody endings. I'm sick of them. How can one game end so many times? It doesn't make sense. Oh, but back at the beginning of the demonstration, now oh, that was lovely. No concerns about where it was all going. No confusion. Just a blank slate. Yes, that's what I want. A game of beginnings. Hey, <laughs> do you remember, just a few minutes ago, when we met for the first time, and I showed you the technology used to make the demo because I thought there actually was a demo. <laughs> oh, we were so naive back then. How little we knew of the world. And then when we ended up back in the waiting room, even though you'd already done that before, yes, it's all so fresh in my memory. They were such wonderful moments. Oh, and then when we played the game with the cup and you won, and then we kept wandering and we ended up in a stairwell somewhere and we just kept climbing and climbing, flight after flight after flight. I thought they would never end. And then we were on some kind of catwalk. I didn't have any idea what was down there. Did you? And we just kept going and we found that elevator and it said escape on it. And we talked about it for a while, about how we couldn't possibly know whether this was really an escape, but that it seemed worth a try, and at the very least it would be an adventure. So we got inside and we rode the elevator up and up and up. We had some sense that the end was coming, but we couldn't possibly know when. And then after so long, it finally stopped, and we stepped out into the lush outdoors, the trees, the wildlife, the sun rising on a new and glorious path. Freedom. We were free. There was nothing to think, nothing to know. Simply us being right there in that moment. Wasn't it so beautiful? Wasn't that moment so singularly, piercingly beautiful? We were free. Yeah.
Well, that's the end of uh, the Stanley Parable demo. Uh, what's the Stanley Parable? Who the fuck knows? I guess we'll find out on the 17th. So uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you later. Bye.